Hey, welcome to lesson number seven, area of a sector. So we are looking at calculating area of sector today. So what is your goal for today? By the end of the day, I want you to be able to determine area of a sector, so the area of a pie piece. All right, and again, a bit of an error here. It should be central, not subtended. I said subtended's fine. It's just I gave you the terminology central, so I want to be consistent. So again, here we go, uh, area. So we talked about arc length yesterday. Today we want to find the area of a pie piece and we're only given the information radius and the angle of that pie piece. So how do we do that? Well, again, the area of a circle is pi r squared. And I'm not going to go through the details, but relationships between the circles area uh, area and sector area with angle result in so I'm not going to go through and do the proof. The proof is a lot of algebra and we're not overly concerned with how it's developed. It's more applying it and looking at uh, real world situations when we need it. So the resulting formula for area of a sector, and I'm just going to put sector down here, and it's going to equal pi times r times r times theta divided by 360. Okay. So there is another formula for us. This unit has a lot of formulas. And other units don't quite have as many. Okay. So again, I don't really need to add too much to the legend. You've seen most of these terms already. So I'll just put the area of the sector. Okay. Area of sector slash pi piece. All right, r is your radius, and theta is your angle in degrees. All right, so there we go. So there's our formula, and we're all set to go. So I want to find the area of each sector. So example look like this. So we'll say four centimeters. And let's go over here. And let's say that we have an angle of 120 degrees. So we will find the area of each sector. So we are looking for the area of a pie piece. So that means you need to know to go to your formula sheet and get the correct formula pi times r times r times theta over 360. And we end up with 3.14 times 4 times 4 times 120. And we're going to divide that by 360. And we'll clear that up. 3.14 times 4 times 4 times 120 divided by 360, here we get 16.7, 16.7, the units were given to me in centimeters, which means I'll be in centimeters, and I'm calculating an area, so it's going to be squared. So the area of that pi segment is 16.7 centimeters squared. All right, moving along here. What happens when we have something like this? Radius will go with 10 meters. The angle right there is 300 degrees. So we are looking for, and it doesn't look like a pie piece anymore. Okay? It looks like something, a monster's portion of the pie, I guess you'd say. So someone's ate, their pie piece is almost three quarters of the pie. But that still is considered a sector. It's also considered a pie piece. Okay, 
So you need to keep that in mind that it could look like that and that's perfectly fine. Times R times theta. So again, we already know the formula. You're going to have the formula with you at all times. So 3.14 times 10 times 10 times 300. And we're going to divide that by 360. Then we put that into a calculator. 3.14 times 10. That's not 10. 10 times 10 times 300 divided by 360. And we get 261.7. So 261.7. It was given to me the radius is in meters. So our units are meters. It's an area. So it's got to be squared. All right. So there we are. So a couple of examples. What happens if you're making a fan? Okay. And we want to know how much paper. So this could be an art class. So you want to make a fan, sort of the Japanese maybe kabuki fan or whatever. You want to make this fan. Um, how much paper are you going to need? So if you know, I'll tell you that it's about 15 centimeters. But in order to find that area, we have to find this angle. How can we find this angle? Well, we know how to use a protractor. So I'm going to pull out my handy dandy protractor. Oops, I don't want to do that though. I'll do that. Lock that down. I'm going to shrink that protractor a little bit. So I'm going to put my baseline on the bottom of my fan and put the center at the hinge. So now when I go around and read it, so I'm going to be reading it in this direction. Looks like it's going to be about 142, so 142 degrees. So, how much paper is required? I know that the area of a sector is pi times r times r times theta over 360. So, 3.14 times my fan is going to be 15 centimeters long, 142 degrees over 360. So, when I do my calculation here, 3.14 multiplied by 15 times 15 times 142 divided by 360. I'm going to need 278.7, so 278.7 centimeters square of paper. So therefore, to make the fan, to make the fan, you will need 278.7 centimeters squared of paper. Okay, so an art class application. All right, and my final example: What happens if you what happens if you work in a in a store that sells wallpaper or paint, or you have maybe a parent that uh, works in a store or owns a store? So let's say that there is a circle that's being painted. Let's say let's say it's the one of the, part of the Mitchell logo in the gym. And you are making a design, and we want to color the top segment of this circle in blue for the Mitchell colors. How much paint am I going to need here? Well, I need to know the area. So the school tells you that the circle has a radius of, uh, let's go with 7 meters. And we had to go out and measure it ourselves. The angle, because when they look, when you ask for the angle, they thought you were uh, out to lunch. Why would you need to know the angle? So I'm going to do the angle inside first, and I'll show you the why. Because I can't measure around the long outside. My protractor doesn't go that far. So I'm going to measure the angle in here first. So I know by looking at it, it looks like it forms a 90 degree angle. So this is 90 degrees. Now that's not what I want. Okay? I want the angle out here because this is the area we're coloring. I know that there's 360 degrees in a circle and I'm going to take away 90 degrees out of that circle 
because that's what I'm not painting. And when you do that, you end up with 270 degrees. So the area of this sector is pi times r times r times theta over 360. So 3.14 times 7 times 7 times 270 over 360. So 3.14 times 7 times 7 times 270 divided by 360 is 115.4. 115.4 meters squared. The radius was in meters. It's meters squared. So therefore, if this person worked for uh, quality paints or whatever, okay, let's say, for example, we'll call the person Jason. He then could tell the person that if you're going to paint this circle, this sector, therefore you will need 115.4 meters squared uh, it's not going to make a whole lot of sense paint to cover the area. Not the best wording. And the area is 115.4, so you need enough paint to cover that particular area. So there we go. Area of the sector. If you have any questions, we will deal with them as they arise.